Hello everyone, welcome to the County Buzz, I'm Dick Wolf. We're going to be talking about adult basic education today and we're on location as opposed to being in the studio at Franklin County High School. So this is a new thing for all of us. Our guest today will be Jason Beard, he's the director of the Tennessee Workforce Development Administration and a familiar face to all of you, Betty Fraley, uh, yes, the teacher of the year. We'll be right back. Hammers, your hometown department store. Unbeatable prices and new stock is always being added. They've got a great selection of fall and winter fashions for the cold months ahead. Hunting gear for all the sportsmen, scrubs, work clothes, fabrics, tools, and even great gift ideas like toys and jewelry. Conveniently located on the boulevard in Winchester, Hammers has something for everyone. Come in today and enjoy service with a smile. Welcome back everyone and hello to my guest on my far left, Jason Beard from the Tennessee Workforce Development Administration and Betty Fraley. Good morning, Betty. Good to see you. Hey, good to see you. Didn't Dick. I see you just the other day at a meeting? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Well, Jason, thank you very much for coming here from Tennessee and, uh, and tell me or tell us uh, why adult basic education is a workforce development project. You know, that's something that actually surprises a lot of people, that we're not in the Department of Education, we're actually in the Department of Labor and Workforce Development. And we look at it because between the ages of 18 and 64 in the state of Tennessee, there are 700,000 people who do not have a high school diploma or equivalency. Uh, the jobs for tn.gov website, there are over 90,000 jobs posted there any given day. And just take a wild guess at how many of those jobs do not require at least a high school diploma or equivalency. Did you want me to guess? Absolutely. Zero. Go for it. You got it. <laughs> Nail on the head right there. And that's, that's it. You have to have that first basic credential that says that you have a certain academic functioning level to be able to go in and get a lot of these jobs. So from that standpoint, this truly is workforce development. We want to take those 700,000 people, bring them back in, equip them so that they can go out into the workforce and be an asset to their, uh, to their employer on day one. So an adult basic education, and so you've been in this position for how long? Almost a year, almost a year. So how do you, how do you like the fit? I love it. This, uh, you, you wouldn't find an area of work that's more rewarding. Uh, this is something you can wake up every morning, you can be proud of what you do, you can be excited uh, to get in and start helping folks because we really are changing people's lives uh, one person at a time. You've got amazing folks like Miss Betty here who is uh, taking folks that, again, can't find a job. They either can't find a job at all or the job that they can find is not a job that they can support themselves and their families. And she, she's taken them, she's, she's giving them confidence, uh, she's uh, giving them a sense of purpose, and they leave this place, they're ready to go into post-secondary education. Many of them never imagined that that would be, even be a possibility for them. Or if they're not really wanting to go that route, they're ready to go into a job, and just their whole life changes. So adult basic education is more than reading and writing then? Oh, absolutely. Tell us what it is. Sure. Uh, adult basic education is the whole gambit. We're really preparing people uh, to take the, uh, the high school equivalency exam. Uh, oftentimes you hear folks who drop out of high school and they say, I need to go get my GED. Uh, uh, that's something that I'm trying to get out there is that uh, you can't go get a GED. There's no such thing. Uh, it's a test that uh, leads to a high school equivalency diploma. That's what you're looking for is the high school equivalency diploma. There's actually a second test that most of our students choose because they call the HiSET exam. Same thing, tests the same standards, leads to the same credential, and it's, uh, it's a true academic achievement. Uh, but it tests five different areas, uh, reading, writing, science, social studies, and math. And we have excellent programs uh, right here, such as the one that Miss Betty uh, teaches in, that get, can get anyone prepared, ready to go, to uh, pass that exam, to be successful, and to get their high school equivalency diploma. Well, Betty, you've been teaching for years, uh, mostly in a ac regular academic situation. Yes. Are you finding adult ba basic education different to teach? Yes, uh, you know it's sort of like being in a one one room school uh, because everybody's a different place. Uh, last night I had somebody who needed social studies. 
had somebody who needed science, and then all my math people were on different levels. So it's like teaching in a one-room school, you know, with everybody on different levels. So it's been an adjustment for me. Uh, I was surprised at how little I knew when I started this program, you know. Uh, I thought that after teaching 37 years in public school that there wasn't going to be much out there, you know, but there was a lot. Uh, so this is a different day and a different program, but I really do enjoy it. So, Jason, is it difficult to find, I mean, Betty, of course, has awesome experience, and yet she admits that there were some areas that were a little alien to her right. when she met this diverse group of needs. Sure. Are you finding it difficult to find teachers to fill these posts? Maybe initially. Uh, if we can get an instructor uh, through the door uh, and, and get them into a classroom, get them exposed to our student body. See, our, our students, you know, you, they have such a negative connotation that goes around them. You know, oh, they're a dropout. Our, our students aren't bad people. They're mm -hmm. wonderful people. They're amazing people that life happened, you know, for one reason or another, whether it be their fault or, or just their circumstances in life. They went down a path and now they've decided, I want to rectify that mistake. And so they want to come back. They want to be here. Just imagine right. that, okay? Anybody who's watching this who's a teacher. My wife taught kindergarten for, for uh, nine years before our twin girls were born. And, you know, I come home and I talk to her about this. And just ask any teacher that you, uh, you can imagine. Imagine if your students didn't have to be there, but they wanted to be there. Oh, that, that's something you can fall in love with. And that's Absolutely. what we see with, uh, with all of our teachers across the state. Once they get in here, once they start being exposed to our, to our students, uh, they have a real passion for it. Our, our people have a great heart, a great love, a great compassion for these folks. And that's what I want our students to know, our prospective students to know, that that's what they're going to receive when they walk in our door. Uh, well, I was going to ask you what should they expect. And obviously they're going to get a warm welcome. Absolutely, uh, but, always. Uh, um, many of them are, are adults. Some are young adults. Many have children. They have some have part-time jobs or full-time jobs, and they have to get flexible. <clears throat> Does ABE have any flexibility, and can they help them with transportation, health care, child? Uh, excuse me, not health care, but child care. <laughs> Uh, well, we, we don't offer child care, we don't offer uh, help with transportation, but here's what we do offer. Uh, we offer a very flexible schedule. There are classes uh, during the day, there are classes at night, uh, but if you can't get to a class location, say you do have a job, but you're wanting to improve your skills so that you can get a better job, uh, a career, uh, then you have the opportunity now, if you come in, you can qualify for an online classroom. If you've got a, a mobile device, an iPad, a computer, a desktop computer at home, if you've got access to the internet, then you can take adult basic education classes. You can be a part of this program. There's nothing standing in your way. You can do that any time of day or night that you want to. It fits your schedule. I didn't realize that it was an online program. It, it uh, can be. We're, we're one of four in the nation uh, that has implemented that. It began August 1st, and uh, as of yesterday, we have uh, over 1,400 students across the state uh, enrolled in our online classroom. That's quite an accomplishment. Yes, sir. Uh, that's quite an accomplishment. Well, we, we have got more, and we'll come back in a moment or two and uh, have another guest to talk about uh, who was in the program and has now gone and is living happily ever after, I believe. <laughs> John T's Barbecue, conveniently located on the square in Winchester, full service dining with a relaxed hometown atmosphere. Try some delicious items at reasonable prices, fresh smoked meats including pulled pork, chicken, beef brisket, baby back ribs, and bacon. Other specialties include grilled burgers, fried catfish, smoking nachos, and stuffed Tennessee taters. Open Thursdays and Fridays 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 4 to 9 p.m., Saturdays 11 to 9, and Sundays 11 to 3. John T's, not your typical barbecue joint. Mr. Postman says this about getting holiday gifts to loved ones, it's never too early. And one more thing, those gifts come large and small and so do shipping costs. Military, right now is best. 
Hours are 9 to 5 through the week and on December 19th, 9 until 1. International, UPS, FedEx, DHL, and U.S. Postal Service, December 11th. Domestic, for normal, FedEx, UPS, and Priority Mail, December 22nd. Next Day Air, December 23rd, gets your gift under the tree by Christmas. Hello everyone, welcome back. We've uh, changed the seating arrangements and on my left is Michael Clark from Franklin County, a, a graduate of the Adult Basic Education and of course uh, Jason Beard, Director of the Tennessee Workforce Development Administration. Um, you took the high set exam to get your high school equivalency. Yes sir, I did. and uh, It was a very big achievement for yeah. me. Did, were, did you have to prepare a lot for it, or did you find out you were smarter than you realized? I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was it was very flexible, and uh, I had a lot of time to work with it, and uh, the program worked with me a lot. Yeah. Um, I had, I've got a child, and I, I had another job, and it, it was a benefit for me because it was very flexible. So you were working when you decided to get engaged in this adult basic education program? I was, and... I was working out in the weather a lot with a very, you know, you know, unpaid program then, you know, job. Yeah. So you thought you would do something about your life and uh, and make some improvements. I did, and this program helped out a lot. And I'm currently working for a Nissan North of America in Decker, Tennessee. That's uh, that's pretty amazing. So you now have a future. I do. You have uh, benefits. I do. Your family is protected and covered by benefits. They are, and and we're we're better off than we were. Can I ask if you're happy with a adult basic education? I am, and <laughs> very well pleased with them. <laughs> I can imagine, Jason. Uh, you drive a thousand miles to hear stories like this, wouldn't you? Oh, any day of the week, absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, well, it's a real uh, testimony to uh, to the effectiveness of the program that uh, people like uh, Michael right. can uh, get out of a job that promised nothing and into a job that promises everything. And that's the promise that, that we give through this program. Uh, Michael's story is such an amazing and inspiring one. And I, I want everyone who's listening to this broadcast to know that if you are in this situation where you've dropped out of high school, you need to go back. Or if you have a friend or a family member who needs to go back, you can get started today. There's a toll-free number. If you're in Lincoln, Moore, or Franklin County, you can call 855-344-GRAD. That's 855-344-4723. And uh, you'll get in contact with some folks that will get you set up with classes. And you could be the next Michael. Uh, you could be the next person that actually changes your stars. Uh, everything in your life could turn around. Uh, you could be making more money. I like to say there are 10,000 reasons uh, to come back and get your high school equivalency <laughs> diploma. And that's, they all have dollar signs in front of them. Uh, on average, there's uh, the annual salary for an individual without a high school diploma or equivalency and someone who does have it is $10,000 a year. Imagine what that will do for your family. Imagine the doors of opportunity that that will open. And when you come through this door, you're going to see a happy, smiling face like Miss Betty Fredley. And I want to say something about Miss Betty. Oh. She was actually our Teacher of the Month for July. And that's not just for Franklin County. That's for the entire state. She got our Teacher of the Month award, and that will put her in the running for Teacher of the Year uh, for the entire state of Tennessee in adult education. Uh, so you have an absolute jewel here. There's nothing standing in your way. Come on in, get started. You can be the next Michael. <laughs> well, Betty is a, a one. She deserves every word of praise she gets, and she's very well respected in uh, in the community. Uh, Michael, uh, when he finished with his adult basic education, mm -hmm. you elected to go to work for Nissan. Uh, but there are other opportuni opportunities open for those who participate and finish this program. Why don't you tell us about those? Absolutely. Uh, the, uh, the governor, uh, fortunately, has, uh, has started the Tennessee Promise program that everybody's become so familiar with, where uh, the first two years of, of uh, a community college or a, uh, uh, two years of technical school at a Tennessee College of Applied Technology can be totally paid for. Many of our students can also qualify for the Tennessee Promise. If you don't qualify for the Tennessee Promise, you probably qualify for Tennessee Reconnect, 
uh, which will also pay for two years of, of college or technical school. Uh, you can also qualify for the HOPE scholarship. Uh, so many doors uh, open up and just imagine, imagine there you are, an individual who's dropped out of high school, you're in a, you're in a job that you don't enjoy, you're in a job that's, uh, that you feel is a dead end, you don't feel like you can provide for yourself or your family like you want to, and then you pick up the phone and you call and you get a friendly face on the other side, you go through an amazing uh, uh, preparation course that's not like your high school experience, and you get to be in a classroom with somebody amazing like Miss Betty Fraley, it's all free, uh, you qualify for a free voucher to take the test. You don't even have to pay for the test. <laughs> it, it, uh, thanks to uh, Governor Haslam and the members of the Tennessee General Assembly, uh, that is now paid for. And you can do it all for free, and all these doors open up. You can go to college. You can go get a good job, a better job, a career. Everything can change for you. All you have to do is pick up the phone. All right, and Michael, I will ask you, is what he said true in your case? It, it is, and uh, he's right. You can, it can open up doors where I can go to college if I'd like to. Is that something that, uh, now that you've, uh, you know, been so successful so far, have it, you given any thought about going on? I have. I have given it lots of thought, and, um, and I'm, I'm going to do that because I've got opportunities now where I didn't have that before. That's pretty amazing. All right, we've uh, got one more guest to introduce to you, and we'll be back in just a moment. Steel Salvage. Looking for ways to clean your garage out and pick up a few extra dollars? Got an old engine block in your yard? If it's metal or wire, it has value, and Steel Scrapyard will pay you for it. Cash money. What scrap, you say? Iron, cast iron, tin, bundles of wires, all sorts. Precious metals like aluminum, copper, brass. Bring top dollar. Even those storm windows and doors can bring you money. Put it on the scale and hold out your hand. Money for scrap at Steel's. Located at 504 4th Avenue Southwest in Winchester, they buy and sell almost everything. Welcome back, for, <laughs> welcome back everyone for Section 3. No wonder I'm confused. Our guest with us right now is Jeff Geisman on my far left. Hello, Jeff. Hi. And Betty Fraley is back with us because she's the most pretty woman in the room and we wanted her on. That's why. So, Jeff, tell me how you fit into this adult basic education program. I work for a program called Tennessee Opportunity Programs. And this is a program that's the migrant education program. I work exclusively with families who work in agriculture and who have traveled from one place to another uh, doing seasonal or temporary agricultural work. And what we do with our program, we come across young adults who did not finish high school, up to 22 years of age. And so we enroll them in our program and help them uh, with their English and to encourage them to go on and work toward their high school equivalency exam. And so as we do that, then we usher these students into the program. Also, I come across hundreds of people every day because I go out and actually go door to door or farm to farm and try to find people who qualify for our program. And I come across people who don't qualify for our program but still don't have their education. And so as a result, I encourage them and I carry the information with me. And I have flyers in my folder and I say, here's where you can go and get your high set exam taken. So I was wondering uh, how you would find many of our migrant workers aren't particularly public uh, and, uh, and some for personal reasons. Uh, so, so you do go door to door. Have you had any problems or issues? Are you, and do you think you're finding all that are there? Well, uh, that's the biggest challenge of my job is to find them all. But I tell you what, there's hardly a corner of this county that I haven't turned over a stone. <laughs> have you been shot at? <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. I, uh, I have had very, very, very few uh, difficult encounters with anyone. Uh, of course, I try to be as friendly as I can when I go up to a farm or to a house and knock on the door or speak to a farmer. And um, I've been doing that type of work most of my 
adult career, so I don't have any problem in, in opening doors. But uh, I'm very grateful for how generous and kind everyone that I've come across is. And, and of course, you speak Spanish. Yes, sir. And, and is this something that you got in college, or have you had experience south of the border? We were uh, missionaries in Venezuela for 10 years, and then I worked in Atlanta planting Hispanic churches for 15 years, and I've been speaking Spanish for over 38 years now. My whole family is bilingual. The, the, the scope of things to come. Betty, do you see many uh, uh, multilingual students yes, in your program? Yes, I do. Uh, I have two now. Well, actually, I have three. Uh, but it's very helpful to have someone like him uh, to come and speak to them. Uh, it's, uh, you know, they do really well, but they have, they have problems with the, the things that involve reading. Uh, they reading comprehension, like the science test, the social studies test, and and language, just language itself. But uh, we have I have reading material here for them to go over. I have one student who is working totally on vocabulary. Uh, last night, all she did was vocabulary. So we we tend to think of, his, of Hispanics as the majority of the minority that we talk about, but do you not have uh, Russian and, and other? I have an Indian uh, student. So a, a, any any language that's not English yeah, is so. welcome and can take oh, part yes. in this program. Oh yes, absolutely. And we will find tutors for those that need them? Uh, How do we help those? You know, uh, we are going to have an ESL class after Christmas. We tried this a couple of times before. English as a second language. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. So we, uh, if we can get enough people for the class, that has been our problem. Uh, but if we can get enough people for the class, we plan to instigate another one uh, the first of the year. Okay. And you're, you work uh, primarily in Franklin County, only in Franklin County, Jeff? No, I work all over Middle Tennessee. I, I work, I tutor students in Franklin, Coffee, Bedford, Rutherford, uh, Marshall, and uh, Murray counties. That's a lot of territory. It, it is. is. It is. And you work, uh, are you alone? Yes. I'm the only one covering all of it. I, I can't imagine what your what his little black book looks uh -uh. like. <laughs> uh -uh. Yeah, it's quite full. That's pretty awesome. Well, uh, so. and uh, and we're finding people. That's the important thing. Yes, yes. And getting them engaged and involved in uh, in our program. There are a lot of interesting people all over Middle Tennessee who come here to work, and it's interesting that many of them, a great majority of them are here legally to work. Uh, the H-2A program is the migrant worker program. And this is one of the areas that I really want to work to try and involve more of those folks in coming to work on their adult education while they're here because they don't have any opportunities at home. Do you, well, I guess it probably wouldn't do any good to put a number up, but, but do you have a phone number that people could sure. call? Sure. They can call 1-800-234-8848. 1-800-234-8848. And they can call in either English or Spanish. <laughs> You'll take care of both of them. That's right. Uh, Betty, I want to thank you, and I thank you, Jeff uh, Giesman, for being here today and uh, giving us that message. Uh, Betty, thank you for telling me about ABE and what you're doing with it and bringing these fine guests that you have with you today. That's, it's been a pleasure. And thank you so much for doing this. Oh, this this is, will mean so much for our program. Well, we, let's you. hope so. We, we hope to fill this uh, room up. <laughs> so that's it for now. If you're watching us on uh, Channel 3, we repeat this program throughout the day until uh, the following Tuesday when we get a new program. Otherwise, you can catch us on the Franklin County Buzz on Facebook, on YouTube, Twitter, whatever your social media choices, you'll find us there and we'll be watching for you.